It was the FMX Moto Challenge, where riders competed in three individual freestyle disciplines, all vying for an overall title. First up was the whip contest. Judges looking for the flattest whip. Looking back now on Ronnie Feist at his second attempt at the whip. Well, Ronnie, mostly known for his kung fu variations, was able to get the bike somewhat turned upside down, but he did a little bit more finesse. Ronnie Feist score, a 78.5. And then there was the punk-inspired Doug Parsons from Riverside, California, known for his whipping ability. Well, here's a man who takes things to the ultimate level, and he certainly was able to do it right here, getting the bike almost completely upside down. Both whips were good. Here's the first one. You can see that back end come right around. Going to be a tough one to beat, but he certainly does do that because, Pat, he had a second whip in there. It was a bit better than the first. Parsons score on the whip aspect of the competition would end up being an 85.5. Next up would be the artistic and versatile Drake McElroy. And Drake has his own original style with the whip. Watch his top foot. Take a look at it. It's actually a one-footed whip as he brings it all the way around. Real nice style on that one. And he brought us a second one also. Not bad for a kid from Fernley, Nevada. He used to work at a veterinarian feeding the animals to make ends meet. So Drake McElroy, a 79.5 on the first of three disciplines. Then Travis Pastrana took a very unorthodox approach on his first whip attempt. And Travis Pastrana, believe it or not, not known for his, his whips. He actually has a hard time with them, but he managed to squeak one decent one out there. And here is the better of the two. You can see him. Doesn't have the smoothest style with the whip, but he gets the job done. And a surprising 84.5 would be Travis's score. So here's a look at the standings following the whip aspect of the FMX Moto Challenge. Up top, Doug Parsons. But next, it was going to be the best trick competition. And Dane Kennard would start things out, the Australian rider. And the key here is link your tricks together. The more tricks you do in one air, the better your score. And he was able to do that with a tsunami, the Superman on the way back in. And here, as we look back, you'll keep your eyes on him. No footed running man can can to heel clicker on the way back down. And then look at the extension as he gets that tsunami totally straight up and down on his bike and he just lets his feet kind of fall back on that bike. Dean Kennard's score would end up being an 81.5 on the best trick aspect. And then there was Kenny Bartram, the cowboy. And Kenny Bartram's a big name in this sport, has some serious heritage. His grandmother was a motor maid and his uncle was Guy Cooper, and he too is a master at the combinations. He did a double rock solid and was able to pull himself back on his bike safely. And Kenny's score would be an 80.5 on the best trick aspect. And then Travis Pastrana, no surprise what Travis would try. Well, I'm glad he tried a backflip and not a 360 flip, as he mentioned earlier this year. I'll tell you what, he didn't just do the backflip, he did a nice tsunami as well. But let's look at that backflip again. I can look at these all day. This time he decided, he did it over the step up. You see him do a little check with the brake there. And here, the tsunami, again, Travis Pastrana, really strong competitor. And Travis Pastrana's score would be an 86. And the results after the best trick, Travis Pastrana taken at Dane Kennard in second and Kenny Bartram in third.